Konnichiwa, minasan. So, we are now, this is lesson 10. So, lesson 10 will focus more on uh, on asking for direction or basically, how would you ask for instruction, where to go, and what's the uh, relative location of the place or destinations that you are looking for. So, this is particularly useful when you are traveling in Japan. So, you have to, of course, this lesson will not be for, uh, it will not be possible for you to really appreciate and comprehend this lesson without really backtracking with our previous lessons. So starting from lesson one and to lesson nine, because it's a combination of all the lessons that we have. So for asking for directions, uh, it's, uh, it's important to know the following vocabularies. So first is, of course, the cardinal direction. So these are reference points, no? So, for example, Kita refers to north, Minami refers to south, Higashi refers to the east, and Nishi refers to the west. So, this is particularly useful for identifying your exit point or exit, uh, yung ating mga exit locations. No? And again, it's based on characters or kanji or Chinese characters. So, when you combine it with other character reference, the reading would be, of course, remember the un, un and kun reading, right? So it will be different. For example, if we're talking here, north, northeast, hoku to. To is referring to the higashi, which is east. And if it's we're talking to the north, northern west or northwest, hokusei. So it refers to nishi, which is say some sort with also with minami. Minami becomes nan, and to, of course, that means to say southern, uh, southeast. Okay, nanto. And Nanse, it refers to South Western. Okay? So these are the reference points. So important rin po, alam yung characters natin. Kasi, uh, you know, in Japan, uh, though in, in a highly urbanized area, if there's a lot of commercial activity. For example, Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, because that's a tourist area. Uh, yung ating mga labels o ating mga uh, particular labels for the whole and expo expositions, airports are written in English, Japanese, and characters. No, so uh, wala tayong problema. However, when we are going far from the other, let's say Akita Prefecture, the the yung ate mga Fukuoka regions, yan. So medyo may may problema na tayo kasi it's written in Japanese or kanji in particular. So very familiar in dapat natin yan. Next is, of course, Chu Shin. Chu refers to Naka or I mean to say the middle. Shin refers to the center or the heart. Okay. Chu Shin refers to the center or the heart. So in Chinese, ang tawag niya, Cho Shin. So that's the, the center or the core. Okay. So again, we have Kita, which is north, and south is Minami. Higashi is the east, and Nishi is the west. And of course, at the center is we have the Chu Xing. Okay. So that's the cardinal directions. Okay. So next we have the preposition. So these are preposition of location. So this is the uh, basic muna tayo. Loob, labas. Okay. So inside is naka. Okay. Naka, which means to say the character naka represents inside. Because remember there is a mouth which is pierced by a stick. It means to say that the, the stick is inside the mouth. The, the mouth or the stick is inside a mochi or yung tinatawag na sa pagkain, nakatusok siya inside. Now, if you are outside, soto, soto. So, so, remember the character, yeah, soto. Uh, the character, uh, I could easily remember it because there is a story. Yung soto kasi, yung character is composed of two characters which is uh, the first one represents the yuki or the, or the yuki or the evening Okay, and the other character represents tao or say. Okay, so you mean to say gabi na in tao na sa labas. So it's outside soto. For me, ha, mas madali ko natatandaan siya kasi I study the radical, the radical of the kanji. So medyo uh, madali sa akin. Pero for beginners, you have to memorize lang yung patterns ng characters. Okay, next is we have mae. Okay. Mae, hindi po maya, mae, mae, 
which refers to yan character niya so medyo mahirap siya tandaan pero familiarization it means to say in front or okay in front or before so in front or before for time we use it as before in front uh for location we we we're using it for in front sa harapan okay now if it's ushiro okay ushiro which refers to behind at the back So that is for location. But if we're talking here for time, ato, de ba? Ato de. It means to say later. So again, ma e refers to before in time and ushiro. Okay, that's behind. But for time, we called it as yung character niya lang wala yung ro ro ha. It's ato, which means to say later. So ganon siya ha. In front and behind, inside and outside. Okay, next. Okay, so another preposition, very important, uh, top and down. So for top and down, so okay, so top and down. So this is shita, shita, shita. This is ue, ue, ue. Okay, top and down, top and down. Okay, top and down po tayo. Okay, and then left and right. Left is migi, hidari is the left. Okay. Left and right, migi and hidari. Now, of course, ah, paano natin matatanda ang character? Again, for preposition, it's very important to really understand the characters, kasi sometimes ilang ilang clue niyo, kasi there are some labels, no? Example, uwe, nakita niyo yung sa nakaturo siya, taas, de ba? So it means to say up, uwe. Yung sa baba, nakita niyo sa nakaturo yung yung panuro or yung kanya buntot. Okay, yung buntot niya. Ayan natin na. Ito, turo sa taas, di ba? Ito, nakaturo sa baba. So, down siya. Shita. 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 Okay. Ito naman, hidari sa kamigi. Hidari is left, migi is right. Okay. So, paano yung malalaman kung ano dyan yung hidari or based sa character? Ako, ma parang madali kong matutunan or madali kong maalala. Pag sinabing migi, yung character na to, so isipin mo, di ba, ito yung mouth, ito yung kamay. Okay? Ito yung kamay, ito yung mouth. Ano ba yung, ano bang part or ano ba yung kamay na ginagamit mo sa pagkain? Di ba, right? Di ba, most of the time right tayo, no? Kasi right-handed tayo lahat. Now, yung ginagamit mo sa pag, you know, di ba, cultural difference na, no? cultural studies tayo. Sa Middle East, syempre pag maghugas ka ng ano mo, di ba, after mo mag-toilet, pupunas mo na yung toilet paper, ano ba ginagamit mo, right or left? Di ba, left, okay, left. So, ito naman, hand, tapos left, yan. Itong ibig sabihin ng character na to is joke, work. Work. Kamay na ginagamit pang work. Pang work ng ano, After magpunta ng toilet or to or, or or te aray, so ano ba ginagamit mong kamay na nagtatrabaho para sa iyo, 'di ba? Left, okay. So that is why sa mga sa any cross cultural study, hindi natin binibigay left hand natin pag mag-handshake kasi it's considered as rude because most culture perceive the left hand it is reserved for private uh, time, private use because You know, it's very intimate. Ah, di ba ganon gamit na natin siya? They consider it as dirty. So ganon ha. So pag magabot ng bagay, magahandshake, we use the right hand, okay? Because it is something that we use for food, okay? For eating. Well, something that is about work, particularly the work after you know after taking your leave, we use the left hand, okay? So yun sana maintindihan yun siya, okay? Let's move on. Ito, mas more, more position, more or location, preposition, more fun. Okay. Pero madali naman siya kung babalik-balikan nyo. Okay. Again, shita, di ba? Below. Na-discuss na yan. Shita. Next. Soto, na-discuss, di ba? Soto, outside. Discuss na yan. Next. Naka, inside. Na-discuss na yan. Okay. Ushiro, likod. Na-discuss, di ba? Likod yan. Okay. Mae, harapan. Na-discuss na siya. Di ba? Ngayon, meron tayong idadag. Uwe, na-discuss na rin yan. Diba? Check. Okay. May dadagdag na lang tayo. Tonari, which means to say next to or besides. Or pag sinabi kasi besides, yoko or soba. Soba ni. Soba. Hindi pagkain na. So, 
So, ang pangat ng survey. So, ba? Pero, Siyempre dito sa example ko, ginamit Yoko. Yoko din or Soba. Okay? So, that's that's often, uh, para sa mga madalas ginagamit. Okay? You have Yoko and Soba. Tonari is next to or next door or the, the door up. Parang ganun siya. Let's say, pag sinabi, Tonari de. So, Tonari de or Tonari ni. Ibig sabihin, next door. So, after this door, yung next na. Yun na siya. Okay? Chikaku, ito medyo relative to ha. Chikaku. Chikaku ni. Chikaku ni means to say it's within the area or malapit. Not necessarily sakto siya, pero it's telling you that the things that you're looking is within that area. So, mag dilat mo na lang mata mo, hanapin mo siya. Pero malapit ka na. It's close by. Chikaku. And the opposite is, of course, di ba? Pag chik chikai is malapit. Toy, di ba? Is far which is the adjective naman it comes from the word from the adjective then no chikaku or chikai which is uh diba it's our familiar terms that we use okay next okay so we we know let's recap we know ue which is above shita below nanka which is inside soto outside ue above again chikaku near in front, mae, behind, which is Oshiro, Aida. Ito naman yung another. This one is additional, Aida. It means to say, you're sandwiched between persons or things. For example, Ginko wa doko ni arimasu ka? Ginko wa doko ni arimasu ka? Where is the bank? So let's say, I give you a location. Uh, Ginko wa honya no mae ni arimasu. The bank is located in front of a bookstore. Ngayon, pag tanong ka, uh, uh, sumimasin, ganun pa, hindi niya nakita yung bookstore. Okay? Uh, ito na lang. Ginko wa, Ginko wa, Ginko wa, Hoseki ya. Hoseki ya. No aida ni. No aida ni. Diba? No aida ni arimas. So, it's sandwich between or let's say, uh, ginko, wa no, ginko wa no aida ni, let's say, dalawang ano yun, no? hindi ko na, kasi di ba normally pag yung mga Hoseki, Hoseki ya, yung mga jewelry store, magkakatapat naman sila eh, di ba? Parang, parang isang area, punong-puno sila ng mga jewelry store. So, ganun na ginawa ko. So, parang itong bangko na to, magkatapat niya or napapagitnaan siya ng dalawang jewelry store. Ngayon, syempre, kung merong uh, different building siya, you have to specify ha. Yun lang. Kasi, syempre, ito kasi, Jose Kia. So, it's generic na jewelry shop. So, ang presumption natin, itong bangko, it's between the two jewelry shop. Okay, based on my example. Next, uchi gawa. Uchi is inside. Okay, gawa is yung parang uh, wing or sa English kasi tawag natin yung wing or yung parang way. Uchi gawa. Kasi uchi di ba how? So uchi it refers to inside as well. Yung character niya is the same character with the house. Uchi. Okay? Uchi gawa it means to say um, within. Within. Ang translation talaga niya is within. Hindi siya parang inside na rin. Pero within. So, togawa, outside. para outdoor. para it's more of indoor, outdoor. Ganon. Okay? Kasi ito, tignan nyo. Uh, naka, soto. Naka, it means to say, generally referring to in and soto out. In and out. Pero uchigawa, it refers to indoor or within. So, togawa, it's outside or outdoor. Parang yan. So, tama yung translation. So, more or less inside, outside. Okay, so uwe, down, shita, uwe, up, shita, down. Tonari is next besides or besides or next door. Next door siya. And my favorite is mawari. Mawari, it's basically around, around siya. Mawari, it means to say it's around. So the object that you're looking for is scattered in that area or it's basically could be clustered within the, the area. Okay. This is particularly true for trees, uh, people, 
or animals, let's say, um, uh, Tori ga koen, koen no mawari arimas. Or, for example, Tori, Tori, which is bird, Tori ga koen no mawari ni arimas. So there are birds around the park or the park is surrounded by birds. Okay, so parang baliktad yata, no? Or mas better kung gamitin ko na lang na uh, Tori ga koen no uh, sabihin ko na lang um, inside na uh, Tori ga Koe no naka ni arimas. So there are birds inside the park. So parang gano'n. No? Kasi kung mawari, parang kanina example ko, parang medyo funny siya. Kasi yung park, napapalibutan siya ng mga birds. Di ba diba dapat yung yung part, yung, yung bird, napapalibutan siya ng park. Pero syempre, medyo it doesn't make sense kasi yung bird maliit lang. So parang, di ba? Parang, so siguro mas may sense siya pag ganito. Tatemo no, uh, koen ga, park, koen ga, tatemo no, no, mawari ni arimas. So the park is surrounded by tatemo no, or buildings, right? Diba? So it makes more sense, okay? So let's move on. Yan, so more memories, no? <laughs> or memorization time, more fun. Pero the rest naman ito, it's basically, we have discussed it. It's basically a review na lang. For example, supa, alam na natin yung gako, we have already discussed, restaurant, sounds like, konya, anything with the eye refers to shop or store, except for the, what we call the very convention, or parang very non-specific way of saying store, which is mise or omise, that is a parang kiosk or malit na store, okay? Uh, pero if you want to specify what kind of store is that, for example, bookstore, honya, uh, jewelry store, hosekiya, Uh, bakery, panya, uh, meat shop, ni kuya, gulayan, um, a aoya, diba? aoya, aoy, which is green or blue, aoya, it means to say green shop or parang vegetable shop. Eki, of course, the station, yubin kyoku, which is obsolete na halos to, <laughs> that's the post office. Uh, yo, Yubin Kyoku, which is post office. Ginko, alam na natin yan, bank. I thought this is some, something new. It's Konbini, which is convenience store. Konbini, which is kat, katakanalize. Okay. Kisaten, alam na natin yan. Uh, Bioin, which is hospital. Okay. So, just a recap lang. So, nothing new to review or nothing new to memorize pa. Okay. Ito medyo may dadagdag. Okay. If it's an art museum, that is Bijutsukan. Now, if it's basically any museum, Hakubutsukan. So that is typical museum. But if it's an art museum, the fine arts, Bijutsukan. Kasi Bijutsu, which means to say art, kan, it's the hall. Or it also refers to art exhibit hall or art museum in particular. Any museum, generic museum, it's museum, which is called Hakubutsukan. Now, if you're talking about the aquarium, which we have H2O, Suisokukan, which is aquarium or oceanarium. Okay? Uh, we have amus amusement park, UN, UN Chi, UN Chi, which is, of course, pero uh, to be honest, it's much more, tinatawag na lang siya sa pangalan ng amusement park or Timu Parku or Team Park. Okay? Alam naman ng mga po niyan. Next is we have the Pato, Hoteru, Koen, of course, Egakan, Toshokan, which is new, Toshokan, library, and Kuko. Kuko, Kuko, remember the prolong, Kuko, Kuko Airport. Now, for Kuko, there are two types of Kuko, di ba? <laughs> remember nyo yung Kuko? Kuko, Kuko, okay, there are two types. Isang Koko Sai, which is international, Kokonai, which is uh, local or domestic. Kaya pag tinawag kong ganito, uh, Kuko Kokosai, it means it's an international airport. Kuko Kokonai, which is domestic airport. Okay? So, ganun siya. Uh, okay. 
Uh, this one is more of the strict instructions kasi di ba, ito yung mga point of reference natin and this will be used as your guide. Okay. So we have the intersection, cosaten, okay? Doro is road or also for What's the difference of Michi or Machi and Doro? Machi kasi generally refers to this, the town. It could also mean to say the pavement. Okay. Doro refers to yung mas active siya sa sa sasakyan kaysa sa tao. Okay? Parang ganyan yung interpretation ko yan. Uh, shingo or, or shingo or is traffic light. And then, nakita nyo talaga hindi siya green no? Blue talaga siya yung kulay niya. Kasi blue and green is the same. Kado refers to the corner. Jutai. Yan. Jutai. Jutai. Oh. Alam nyo na pag sinabi kong jutai ha. Hindi yung alam nyo yung hindi ba? Sa Pilipinas pero ano yan. Parang iba yung meaning. Pero dito sa kanila jutai. Ibig sabihin traffic jam. Okay? Senro, trail track. Fu, fumikiri, which is rail crossing road. Wala naman tayo sa shadow dyan. Bus suten or bus stop. Bus stop. Hashi is bridge. And chushajo, which is parking, parking space or parking lot. Okay, let's go. For airport naman, ito, these are common. Ayun nga, kanina di ba? Kuko, which is Kuko Airport. Koko Sai Sen, which is international flights. Okay. Uh, pag domestic, we have Koko Nai Sen, which is domestic flight. Kasi Koko Nai, Koko Nai, di ba? Remember, Koko is bansa. Nai, inside. Okay, inside the country. So it's domestic. Sen is flight or lipad. Ito naman, Koko, it means to say inside the country. Sai means to say uh, parang relation. So it means to say it's uh, country relation. So it means to say parang outside or abroad. Sen is flight. Yan. Yan siya. Um, pasupoto, mas kilala siya sa passport or ryoken. So for native Japanese, ryoken. Pero okay yung pasupoto, okay na yun. Kokuken. Koku, di ba remember yung koku, which is... Uh, Uh, some some source lang. Parang baka magkamali kasi tayo. Isa kasi Kuko, which is airport. Ito, Kokuken. Baliktad yung ano no. So, yung character niya iba rin. Pero ano siya? It means to say plane ticket. Okay? So, for Japan, alam naman nila yung airfare. Uh, they, they, they know it's the ticket to, or sometimes I heard kipu pero kipu is mentioned minimension lang siya for mga concert ticket pero ito kokuken which is literally the plane ticket okay pero pwede na rin ticket to airport or kikoki no ticket to maganon pero this one is the real ano, real term that they use in Japan okay next Uh, we have uh, two verbs lang. So it's very minimal lang for verbs. We have imas, arimas. Basically, it's the same meaning, to have or to exist. The meaning is, of, of course, if you're referring to the, the thing that exists, is moving on its own. It's not assisted. It refers to imas. For example, inu, inu, inu nga imas. So there is a dog. Uh, tori nga imas. There is a bird. Um, Sensei nga imas. It means to say there is a teacher. So because these things are moving on their own. So meaning to say these are most likely living things. However, if the things are not moving on its own or it's not moving, okay, it's not moving, okay, literally hindi siya gumagalaw at we don't have any expectation na gagalaw siya, we use arimas. For example, mukha na nga arimas ka. So do you have money? Okay, number one, you don't expect that money will move. Number two, that money has no capability of moving. Diba? It's an object. For example, ketay nga arimas ka? Do you have a cell phone? And basically, what we're asking here is just the presence of that object. Not, uh, we don't have any expectation that it will change location on its own. Diba? Ganun lang siya. Now, of course, this verb would be different kung, let's say, we're talking here for cars. Kuro mga imas ka? Kuro mga arimas ka. So there are rules for that and it's quite advanced. So for stationary cars or vehicle, we use arimas. Kasi nga, we're basically referring to the existence of this object. 
Now, if we are referring now to a transitory or gumagalo na yung object, that's another rule. No? So, of course, let's stick with the basic lang muna. Okay? Next. For things, mono. Things in Japanese is called mono. So, tabemono, nomimono, tatemono, those things, right? So, things, mono. So, we have noto, pen, hasami, fairu, keshigomu. We have envelope, wala pala. Uh, for envelope, we have um, futo, which is envelope. Uh, now, that's, uh, we have already discussed that, I think. And for expression, we have the following expression. Iro-iro na, which is an adjective. No, Iro-iro, it's a na adjective. That's why it has a na. It refers to various or some or collection or attributals or you know various things. Next is we have konde imas, which is an expression that uh, describes that the place is traffic. For example, Jutai, diba? Jutai refers to traffic because kuruma nga konde imas because there is a crowded car, okay? Or densha, uh, densha ga konde imas. So it means to say that the train is crowded or the train balloon is quite, you know, there's, there's so many people. Hito, hito bito ga taksan, taksan nga imas. So it's, diba? Parang it's really crowded with people. Masugu, she means to say, go straight. For example, uh, Nihon no ginko wa doko ni arimasu ka? Where is the National Bank of Japan? And then the, the local asks you, uh, Masugu ikimas, Masugu ikimas, or Masugu, Masugu, Masugu. Masugu. Okay, it means to say go straight. So uh, the presumption is there is a road. Okay, so tuturo niya lang yan. Then masugu, masugu ikimas means to say go straight ahead. Okay, now when you say sugu, sugu lang. Okay, sugu. Okay, sugu refers to immediately. For example, imasugu ikimas. Uh, imasugu ikimas. So I will go now immediately. So parang gano'n, di ba? Okay. So yun lang, I think uh, the vocabularies are short, little challenging for preposition and additional nouns. Pero the rest naman is basically a review, which is we're going to use it for our grammar lesson. So hopefully you have uh, recapped this lesson. Thank you, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu.